Hi, I'm Ryan Pranger. I'm Tony Han. And we're research scientists at Baidu. And in today's video, Tony and I are going to talk about how we got deep speech to work in Mandarin. We first started working on speech recognition in English in 2014. After we finished our first deep speech paper, we wanted to get the system working in Mandarin Chinese. Now, Mandarin is considered one of the hardest widely spoken languages for English speakers to learn because it's so different from English. So we weren't sure how much of our pipeline would have to change to get a decent result in Mandarin. It turned out the end-to-end -end deep learning approach made switching languages way easier than we thought it would be. Traditional speech recognition systems have a lot of different components that have been added over the years to improve performance. Like there's a feature extraction part, a lexicon of phonemes that has to be built, and an alignment of phonemes to timeframes that is usually bootstrapped through multiple models. All of these pieces were put in because with certain datasets they helped, but the complexity of the pipeline made it harder to adapt to a new language like Mandarin. You'd need different features, a word segmentation step, a new lexicon, and so on. The end-to-end -end approach we used in deep speech allowed us to achieve state-of-the-art results quickly without having to tweak all these components. Deep speech doesn't use specialized features like MFCCs or a lexicon of phonemes. We train directly from the spectrogram of the input audio signal. The neural network does all the tweaking. In fact, the biggest change we had to make for our deep speech system to work in Mandarin was increasing the size of our output layer to accommodate all the Chinese characters we used, which was around 6,000 of the most common characters. We also found that architecture and system improvements in Mandarin also helped the English system and vice versa. Thanks to that generality and the end-to-end -end learning approach, in just a few months we produced a state-of-the-art Mandarin speech recognition system. In fact, it was so good that it beat native Mandarin speakers in accuracy on our test set. Here's an example utterance that most Mandarin speakers can't transcribe at first. However, once they've seen the transcription from deep speech, it's usually clear what the speaker is saying. For more details, read the blog post. And for way more details, see our Deep Speech 2 paper on Archive. 